This is James Fox with another video tutorial for Microsoft Word. In this tutorial we're going to create a table of contents. Now in order to create a table of contents Microsoft recognizes a style called headings. Now the styles are listed underneath the home tab and in the style section and Microsoft has four default headings and you can use either one to create your table of contents. Now I'm going to show you the end result and then we're going to create the table of contents. And as you can see here in my table of contents I have uh, several listings. Now to create my table of contents I used heading number one for today is Sunday and today is Tuesday. For where are we going today I used heading number two and this is a test I used heading number three. Now as you can see in my table of contents Headings number two and three are indented a little bit farther than heading number one. And that is because when you use a higher heading, it's going to be indented farther than the lower headings. And I'll show you what that means. So to create the table of contents, I'm going to click on New Document. Now for the first listing in my table of contents, I'm going to click on my heading number one. And I'm just simply going to type something because this is what I want Microsoft Word to recognize and then press enter. Now when I press enter Microsoft automatically goes back to my default normal style for regular typing. So now I'm pressing enter a couple more times to move down and I'm going to click heading number one again and then I'm just going to type something else. Then I hit enter once again it moves back to my default style and I press enter a few more times and now I'm going to select heading number two and I'm going to type something here and now I'm going to select heading number three okay now I've used three different headings I've used heading number one for today is Sunday and today is Monday I've used heading number two for today is Tuesday and I've used heading number three for today is Wednesday. Now I'm going to press and hold the control key on my keyboard and press the home key to bring me to the top of the page. Then I'm going to press control and enter to create a new page above the page in which the text lies. And here is where I'm going to insert my table of contents. And to do that I'm going to click on the references tab and select table of contents and I'm going to select the automatic table one. Now it's created my table of contents and here you can see heading number two is indented farther than heading number one and heading number three is indented farther than headings number two and one. So as I said before the higher the heading that you use the more that is going to be indented in the table of contents. And that's how you create a table of contents in Microsoft Word. If you have any questions, please email me. Once again, my name is James Fox, and I'll see you next time.